I'm gonna make me a nugget. I had it before and I had this little hole in my weld and it all poured out. So, second try. We'll see what I end up with. What's going on there, everybody? And just clean around them. Starting to put these back together. I don't. I was going to put these, the, these back on here. I got to get some of that. Uh, I don't even know what you call it. Ba basically, anti seize for aluminum. So, something like that. So, I got to get that. But I don't think that's going to stop me because this didn't have any of that paste on it. So. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting these back together. I've cleaned them. I took some uh, just vinegar, white vinegar and water. And I mean, got them pretty clean. I could probably have sat there with a scotch bright and got them even more, but I kind of like the patina look. <laughs> so let's see this one. I'm going to stick all these together. So I've got the reflector. Let's see. Yes, there we go. The reflector. And there you go. It looks like that. These have got number two, so I'll put these together. At least that way they're all together. That's number 12. What I did here is just make sure that they were in there right to start with. So I went through and counted them. I pulled up the instructions for uh, the Mosley TA 33. It's 25 and 15 coils, 25 on this one, 15. Then there's 24 and 14. Then there's 23 and 14. So there's four 14s, two 15s, a 25, 24, and 23. And I've counted those just to make sure. They had them in right. Uh, but I'm just making sure as I go, I'm making sure I'm counting it all. So I cleaned them. They're pretty, pretty clean for the most part. It'd be hard to get all of that oxidation off of it. You can see how shiny it probably could get. But... You're talking probably a 50, 50 year old antenna or more. So why take all that off? <laughs> you know, don't want to wash away the years, man. Just to... there's something to be said about a nice shiny. We went over today to Rogers and helped him uh, put that well, didn't, put that cable back the way I should have put it to start with. Uh, on his uh, tower, so we went and done that. And his is shiny. His is real shiny, brand new looking shiny. I was like, man, I said I won't never get this one that shiny. And as I started doing it, I was like, you know what? I don't know if I want it that shiny now. I want to kind of keep this. I'm kind of just rambling because I mean, y'all see me take them apart. I'm doing the, just the reversal of that. But like I say, just a couple of steps that I've added into putting them back together or counting the coals to make sure that they're in the correct spot going on the right uh, element. And 
these just kind of they're a little tight right here. You just got to kind of get them to work over the edge to start with. Maybe. I didn't heat these up like I did take them off, but I figured they'd just slide on it. Yeah. Just the first initial getting it started over that. I mean, I could probably help it. I just don't want to mess it up. On the young, I don't know if that helped or not. Yeah. This one just won't be stubborn. Yet. Look, look. Precise fit, that's for sure. This one ain't wanting to go. Tell you what, I'm going to spend a whole lot of time on that one. Let's see if we can get enough. And it might pay to. Yeah, maybe that one just wasn't made for this one. <laughs> I don't know. Just kidding, they're all the same. The way these are, they got like we poles here and we poles here. So when they're up on the tower or pole or whatever, they're, that way if water does get in them, it drains out and lets them air out. So this is one of the, of the reflectors. And like I say, I got to get some of that. Uh, put that in there. Some stuff to this is where the, some of these. Things. Anyway, anti seize or whatever it's called. I might have to look at it. Something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And these are easy like this one, all of the short ones coils are the same. So as long as I've got, I know these not, and I'm working from just like I've got the, can't see it. I've kind of put it together in the garage, kind of a little bit. Yeah, got my little wheel stand there. And it won't stay there because I can't get it back out <laughs> once I put it together. So basically what I'm doing with that is, uh, checking everything i'm checking to see what i got what i need to get and i know i need to get one of those little 40 blocks little aluminum ones henry's got somebody on a machine one uh, if that don't work out per se i'll have to figure out something so i'm sure i'll find something and like i said you they had them in here right, so I mean, they're really just the numbers. I didn't, even, didn't really have to count them, but I guess just to make sure that they were right. See, these things just slide right back in. And that wire's pretty stiff, so I mean, it goes right where you can put it there. I cleaned up the connections on that. You can see how shiny that is. I've actually cleaned it in way better than I worried about the... Uh, but it didn't oxidize as much as the outside either, but just to make sure I put, cleaned it up so that way it gets good connection. Now this one, I might end up having to heat this bad boy. This is that one that I tried a second ago. Let's see if it'll go off this one. Oh, here we go. There we go. Yeah, that one was a little stubborn. If you kind of, so far, what I'm seeing is if I kind of twist it before it goes on, just get it started and it go on. So this one is seven and eight. That's seven. That's got to be eight. So that'll be. I'll just put them in this order. So that's, 
That way when I go to put them together, put all that together, uh, I ain't gonna sit there and look through them as hard. I mean, I'm still gonna look through them, but. And I know this is kind of boring. Sit and watch it, but if you ever want to take one apart, then you kind of get an idea of what you got to do. Uh, I probably could put some kind of, you know, some, something on that wire maybe to keep it from corroding, but I don't think they used anything. It don't look like it had anything on it. Uh, same with uh, this. This don't have nothing on it. No grease or nothing like that. Uh, and this thing's old. Of course, now I don't know how long it's been sitting here because all them coals were broke, so it could have been sitting in somebody's garage for years, too. I don't know. Looking at the weathering on it, though, the oxidation and everything, I'd say it was up until it quit working. However long ago that was, I don't know. I wish I had some of that stuff I was talking about. I see one thing that does it. Boy, if you get it down here and you spin it that way, it goes and then come back to the screw. That's ready to go. See, as you do them, it gets a little easier. Of course, I said that yesterday. Mark on wood again, right? <laughs> Last time I said something like that, dug on the floor of them didn't end up broke. So, hopefully. Yeah, two more to go, though. Let's get this straight on. Tell you what, the design this thing, it's a pretty precise fit on everything. See, I don't know if there's something that you could put on these, maybe around that to seal that up just a little bit better. You know, you wouldn't want nothing that's permanent. But, you know, I don't know if that'll help keep water out of it or not. But I think looking at it, and even when I had it out, the way these things are made and where the weak poles are and everything, it's designed to shed water. I mean, it's, they thought of that, that's for sure. <clears throat> so that's when that goes in there. That'd be right there, so that way water, you know, would drip out right from the center so it wouldn't hold no water right here. There's enough gap really in that so water won't stay in there either. But I'd say moisture ain't bad. I'd say what's bad is if it fills up and gets frozen. <laughs> or gets filled up and don't go away. You start shorting stuff together. But Yeah, I think I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut up because both of those they've been going on good. That's that one. Got one more. Bear with me on that one, and then I'll shut up and turn this off. See, I tell you what, numbering them, going through and numbering each one of these and each one of those, man, that just makes reassembly so easy. I can't imagine what it would, which I mean, I guess if I had now, I can go to the instructions and count the coals, and I guess that's why you do it. See, I took it apart and 
numbered it, but if I hadn't uh, or got them mixed up or something, I could have did just what I did and counted them and then put them, put them back in any one of these sleeves as long as I remembered which one was which that I was putting together. So that's one thing they document everything pretty good, so you can easily get on and find everything, just like all the measurements and for that and instructions and everything. Yep, that's how you put them back on. That's going a lot easier than that other one. Start that twist just a little once it settles. That's right on. There they are. And they're back together. All the weak poles and everything's where they're supposed to be. The numbers are matching one and one, two and two, all the coils. And then here. Now before, see this this will go. Right, this is three. So right, this this will slide in here. And then it'll screw right there. But I gotta get some of that, you put that paste on here to keep keep it from fusing together. But I quit talking because I'm pretty long video just for me sitting here doing this. I just wanted to, maybe y'all can walk with me through all this and see what I'm doing. And as I go, like I said, I still got a ways to go. I got to get uh I gotta get one of these little little aluminum block that's under this one which I probably got some aluminum if you can't find one and I can measure put it on there I can probably make me something if I have to uh, all these I got I gotta get I took the two U-bolts out of here there should be four right here so for now I gotta go get some more of those I gotta get two of those because they had lost the ones that went right here so to put the uh driven element on it I just went ahead and took those off because I mean it ain't up in there yet so. this is it man so I have a good video is getting long for it not to be about much or nothing at all so yeah I'm gonna say 73 is maybe next few days we'll have uh, some of that paste stuff and put that together and get that on maybe hook up a uh, analyzer to it and see what it reads can't do that in here, but at least with my wheel thing, I can be able to take it outside, put it together, set it up off the ground. So we'll see. Y'all have a good one. AK4PJ.